Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Smash here with another Watcher of Realms video. It is 1050 Sunday, January the 14th. And today we're doing faction trials again. Very, very quickly before we get to the run, let's go to the Pantheon. This is why faction trials are so important, why you should be doing them every day, why you should be progressing as fast as possible. When you do faction trials, you get insignias. Those insignias boost your Pantheon levels. Those Pantheon levels give you stat bonuses that are then given to every single hero in your roster in all content of the game. It's huge for your account, so do it. If you're struggling anywhere, I have step-by-step -step walkthroughs on almost all of them at this point, if you're watching this the day it releases, but I'll be done with them all in a couple days. So if you're struggling anywhere, go check them out. It's a one-stop shop. I walk you through step-by-step -step some of the problems that I had to iron out, uh, different champions you can use. I explain why you wanna use certain champions. If you And if you still have questions afterwards, leave me a comment, I'll help you clear the content. Power of Dominance is off. Stage 12, couple things here. Uh, to get that third crystal, you got to deploy three mages. The tricky part there is that for the Northerners, if we check it out, there are currently only three mages in the faction. So you have to have Mari, you have to have Nocturne, you have to have Shamir, and you have to deploy all three of them, at least at the time of this recording, right? So that's really the only tricky thing that might be holding you back from being able to do it, other than, you know, gear and strategy. Um, but other than that, you can see I have Elder, a Legendary Lord. You don't need Elder. You don't need King Hars. You don't need a Lord, but they help for the shields and the stat bonuses, of course. I didn't have Elder when I cleared this the first time. You don't need him either. I also didn't have Sadie. I used Lightlock as my second healer. So there's, there's definitely some options here to play around. You need two healers. You need two tanks. You need some DPS. It's pretty, pretty simple. So let's start with Valkyra. I'm going to put Valkyra on the bottom take out this big guy if your valkyra isn't strong enough to take this guy out by herself <clears throat> you can wait a couple seconds here and once you hit 13 you can place mari and she can slow this guy down so that you can get one or two extra hits with valkyra or you can also use shamir if your shamir is a lot stronger than valkyra you can put shamir down first blast this guy to bits and then recall Shamir and place Valkyra because you'll need her for the next two waves down there. Let's get Brokir up so he can start building his ult. I'm going to need some heals on him because these guys hit hard. Let's speed it up a little bit. And then I need some DPS. My main DPS are going to be Valkyra, Shamir, and Nocturne. And which one you use will kind of depend on your account and how strong they are. The way that this worked for me, uh, you really need Valkyra at the bottom because uh, she gets stronger as the match goes on and her AoE damage just uh, is great for those mobs. You'll see. Let's hit Nocturne's ult. Broke here's talent or passive, whatever that keeps him alive, just procced. So... Uh, Something about that is that that can be triggered once per deployment. It's not once per match. So once he triggers that, he stays alive. Nocturne finishes him off. You can now despawn Brokir, and then you can respawn him later so that he can have the ability to stay alive twice again. Let's get some DPS up in the top left. Let's get a tank down to support that side, and let's get some heals and damage mitigation. speed this up a little bit now if your shamir isn't strong enough to take care of this top left by himself you have a couple of options you can put maul up here up top facing down provide extra dps a lot of people do that or if you just need a little bit you can put mari here facing left and she can uh, slow them down and provide that extra physical and magic damage uh, increase with her basic tech so you have options there northerners is not a stage where you have to be exceptionally Ivy League gaming. Man, everyone, it feels like every single video, someone uploads a video while I'm recording one. Uh, so you have options. Northerners is not one that you have to be super, super specific and perfect when it comes to timing and uh, cost management. So let's get Procure down again, now that he can stay alive twice.
Now what I'm going to do here, since I know that my Shamir is strong enough to take care of them, I'm going to put Maul facing up to provide extra damage for that next wave up top. If you used Maul in the top left, you can use Mari in the same spot facing up or to the left one spot facing up, and she can slow down this mob that's going to come from the top to provide extra time for Nocturne to do his job and more time for Brook here to stay alive. After Valkyra kills this last wave, that third one, it's the last one at the bottom, we despawn her because we're going to need her in the top left because we're using Maul here in the middle. If you're not using Maul there in the middle, then you can use Maul in the top left, but you're going to need some extra DPS uh, to take care of that top left uh, corner for the final wave. So we're going to give this a little bit of time. I'm going to wait on Maul's ult until he can hit uh, a few more folks. There we go. Didn't quite get that third one. That's okay. Let's use Nocturne. There we go. Speed it up a little bit. Let's use Brokir's ult to keep him alive. Let's use Maul again. There we go. Nice and easy. So same thing, right? Even here, you could use Mari again facing up. You can use Mari and Maul there. Valkyra up in the top left, and she is going to help take care of this final wave that's coming through here. I used that a little too soon, but whatever. It shouldn't be a problem. There we go. And that is the run. So there, this Northerners is good because there's a, a lot of options. Uh, obviously, it's easier with a lore, but you don't need them for the run. It just makes it easier with the stat boosts, okay? So lots of variability. You can play with Maul and Mari a lot to help which of those three areas you need a little extra control or a little bit of extra DPS in, all right? So thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, if you learned something from it, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.